it's time to check out these heat sensitive sheets and find out what experiments we can do with them. When you get them warm, they change color and based on the color, you can determine the temperature. One of the first things you might want to do is put some cold water on it. Or you can put some hot water on it and demonstrate evaporative cooling. One experiment you might want to try is to compare the heat waste of various light sources. Of course, the candle puts out an enormous amount of heat. The incandescent bulb is next, and it puts out a medium amount of heat. But the fluorescent bulbs hardly put out any heat at all compared to these other sources. And light emitting diodes are the most efficient of all, putting out almost no heat. Using a piece of styrofoam, you can demonstrate insulation. Then, using a piece of metal, you can demonstrate thermal conductivity. It takes the heat away faster. You can demonstrate that friction generates heat. Check it out. I've got some cold water here and some warm water here. And I'm going to demonstrate that water will sort itself based on temperature. It's called a thermocline. Generally, the warm water rises and the cold water sinks. This piece of styrofoam here is to prevent turbulence. Looks like a thermocline to me. In this experiment, we're going to measure the wavelength of a microwave with a ruler by using these heat sensitive sheets. Again, you're going to need a piece of styrofoam for insulation. Insert them in the microwave. Make sure that it doesn't rotate. And then let it cook for only about a few seconds. When you take it out, the pattern you will see is in the shape of the microwaves. You can measure the wavelength of the microwave by measuring the distance between these hot spots. Between the two close ones is only half the wavelength, but when they're far apart, it's a full wavelength. I get that the full wavelength is about 12 centimeters. Using the frequency of the microwave, which is usually stamped on the back or the inside, we can calculate the speed of light. My microwave says that it's 2450 megahertz. That's 2450 times 10 to the 6 times 12 centimeters, or 0.12 meters, gives us a speed of about 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That's the speed of light.